Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to do the Amazon video I told you I was going to do with all of the different stuff that I have been purchasing off of Amazon. Some stuff I found that's really cool. Um, some stuff I'll tell you what I didn't like. I couldn't haul everything upstairs. I wanted to show you things like a robe that I got and some pajamas because I think you kind of need to see those to um, get a good idea opposed to what's online. Right now, I know a lot of businesses are selling their stuff because you can become um, an Amazon distributor and sell on there because a lot of stores are still, again, closed. So, I did buy every single one of these products. I am an affiliate with Amazon though, so if you click on my Amazon link, it'll bring you directly to the home page, or if you buy from any of my links um, below, I will earn a commission. Doesn't cost any more, I just wanna always let you guys know. So I brought my iPad up here, I have my shopping list up here, and I'm gonna kinda scroll through, and some things again I'm gonna show you, and some things I'll just put pictures up on the screen. This is gonna kinda go in like um, from quarantine, a little before quarantine and after. Um, one of the first things I bought, I love s'mores, so, well, now I can't eat them, but <laughs> if you watch my life update video, but I bought this like indoor electric s'more maker, and I loved it, it was awesome. Everybody, um, I'll show a picture of it here. It's, it's great, we just stacked, um, I personally like, uh, special dark chocolate so we just broke up like regular Hershey milk chocolate and then special dark and then I even put some um, like crispy what are those crispy bars just crisp Nestle crisp bars in there and just a bunch of different chocolates and it was fun to kind of swivel the tray around and I'll make them it comes with little pokers um, and it's flameless as I explained in the last video I'm um, in a new environment so I'm filming outside right now so again it's a little chilly I have a hoodie on if you hear background noise, that's what it is. So I got um, rechargeable batteries because I fly through batteries. I got my original iMac um, back when I first moved to San Francisco, so that would have been eight years ago. And the keyboard then wasn't like a rechargeable one. It took batteries, and so I was flying through them because I was typing all the time or editing. So um, my mouse did crap the bed that took batteries, so I bought a new one that is rechargeable, but I still have my keyboard that takes batteries. So um, I got these. They're actually pretty affordable. Um, I got a bunch of AA, and then I got some AAA too because some of the remotes take AAA batteries, and that would drive me crazy because I never would have those on hand. So I just charged them up. I put them back in the case, and I just put them in a drawer so I always have batteries batteries that are charged and that's nice and it's helpful for the environment too. I'm obsessed with the Echoes, um, the Alexa Echoes, because I like to put them in plugs and things and tell my stuff to turn on. It's just, I've become, I guess, ultimately lazy. <laughs> but I love the shows. So I had the original show in my kitchen and I would watch, um, I subscribed to like Food Network and things and I would follow along with cooking videos and I could tell it to pause and stuff and it would and then pick like resume again as I was cooking and I really liked it for that and then I liked it that I could drop in with some family or friends and so I ended up getting two of the newer ones for either side of my bed as well so that way it would I could set my alarm to it just talk to it and tell it when to set the alarm I could control my lights I can control the air conditioning and things um, because I had a nest thermostat in that place so I love those um, at Keegan's here we still have them on either side of the bed I just set his side to a picture of him and his friends in Greece and mine is a picture of my my friends and I in Greece so um, it's just nice little news stories you can put your briefings on there and like if I tell it good morning it'll give me my whole news flash and everything I really like those and then I bought the little stands because I don't like it to be completely flat I like to be able to tilt it I bought um, some of these hot water bags uh, I guess I'll call it hot water bags what are they calling them they call them ice bag hot water bag so um, if I have a really bad headache I will put um, some water in there and some ice cubes and I put it on my head and it won't sweat which I like um, and if I have like I don't know if I've ever hurt myself I'll put some warm water in there just make sure you don't put it in the microwave because there's metal along the top um, so that could spark I bought these that I have on my feet right now <laughs> these are the um, Adidas Adelette Adelette comfort slide um, they have some that are meant for water that are a little more um, plastic than these these are memory foam cushion and I really like them so um, I was always buying, I think, the wrong size. I was wearing eights forever, and then I realized that my foot was kind of like in high heels, especially kind of sliding out. And I don't know, my like my feet didn't shrink. I think I just always went, like once I was in high school, I kind of think I was following like what my mom's size was. Um, I'm like a seven and a half. And these are actually a seven and they fit me perfect and they're super comfortable. I use them even as soon as I get out of the shower because I don't like my feet on bare floors after they're washed. 
Um, I don't want to pick up like little lint or anything. I'm weird. <laughs> so I use those when I get out of the shower and I use them when I'm running errands and things are just really comfortable. I got these fingernail scrubbers that I'll show you. Um, I use them for my toes too. I have a pretty like extensive shower and like body care routine, but um, I use those on my toes because I do wear flip flops a lot. Anybody that knows me, like I'm always wearing flip flops. I'm either wearing stilettos or flip flops. There's no like in between. And most of the time it's flip flops. So I clean my feet all the time because uh, a naturally open toed shoes you're gonna get stuff all over you. So I scrub my toes and I have one for my nails as well. I bought these extension hanging bags um, because I do have two sets and I just wrote on the outside on um, the length and the color. And it comes with kind of like a pant clip. So I lay them down, clamp them in and I can zip them up and hang them in the closet just so they don't stay like knotted and they just stay well and the bags were affordable. Speaking of my extensive shower routine, I got this foot scrubber that has suction cups on the bottom so I don't let it ever just sit there because I don't want it to like grow mold or anything like that but again after wearing flip-flops and things th th during the day um you're going to get so just so you know I have two pairs of these I have one that I wear when I get out of the shower and I have one that I use when I run errands these are my errand ones because again naturally they will get will get dirty on the inside so um this the suction foot it feels so nice so I always hang it in my shower ca caddy I take it down I Put it, I just toss it on the ground, I put some body wash on there, and then I rub my feet against there. So I'm like crystal clean, and I love it, and it feels really nice too. Now when stay at home was ordered, um, Kat does do hair and extensions, but trying to even get the extension ones that you needed, or the pieces, or anything like that, um, like the micro links and stuff, was difficult so um, when people were out they were out so my hair extensions came out so um, I was wearing clip-ins so the clip-ins I was having a problem like I wanted to style them and you could use them on that hook and kind of pull like hang them from a shower curtain and do it but it was like so high up or trying to find it on a door it was just driving me crazy so um there's this thing called hair works and you open it up like that there are two little magnets on here and then like little teeth so you can hang the extensions in and then close this and this has a suction cup um, on the back so you can put it anywhere that's like a smooth surface that a suction cup would work or there are little hooks that come in here that you can hang it from something else I personally just suction cup this on a mirror and then when I'm spraying the hairspray I'll just have to wipe that off when it's done but this is a really handy little tool and it also is good I wash them with this so I'll hang these in the sh I hang this in the shower I'll close this I wash the extensions and then I let them dry hanging from this so I really like this um I think they have it in black too I got this shower head because the water pressure was kind of um it was weird and the shower head came really low down even on me it was kind of like right here so I bought this one that kind of had this little neck and just went like this and then I popped the limiter out so the water pressure is stronger it does waste water but I don't take super long showers um so I used to work for Ardell I no longer do I buy my lashes uh either at like at Walmart or CVS or Walgreens or on Amazon um so I bought the I like the long individual they're even though they're called individual they're still like three or four prong on each one um, which I like but I always like the knot free because the knot will make it look like you have a line of like eyeshadow or eyeliner I mean but it can be like kind of if you don't get them perfect it can look really weird I learned for me a long time ago the trick for those was to put a layer like don't try to put them too close together I always start in the middle of my eye work my way out and then I go over with a second layer to kind of hit in between each of those spots so it looks like one solid layer and that way they're thicker I like it like that <laughs> I typically wear long because I like drag queen long eyelashes just like my nails um, next these pajamas I brought them in every single set like every single color they had this is what they look like um, so it has this little tank it has these shorts with this little like cute little it's a tiny little kind of like slit up the side if you can see but I got them in so many colors and they're satin and they are so comfortable I got them in a medium um, which is perfect because I think the large would have been moving too much and the medium is perfect that I can sleep with it and not end up with like the tank top like a boob hanging out of each strap do you know what I mean like that tank top meme I'll show you um, so I, I all of a sudden like I figured as I was getting older I'm like you know what it's not for anybody else but I'm like I want to wear like matching bras and underwear and I want to wear like matching pajama sets. I feel like that's like, I went through this crazy robe buying phase too. I have a ton of robes. One I got on Amazon, the rest are fairly expensive ones, but if you want a robe video, I'll do one of those too. 
I got this WD-40 silicone spray because one of the doors in the house was like creaking all the time. It was driving me crazy, so I used that spray. The only down part about that is, is now the door doesn't even stay open. So you know if you're not like shutting the door, you just leave it. Now it automatically swings shut because it's so lubed up. So I just had to get a door stopper for that. The Ardell Lash Tight, the individual lash glue. I prefer the dark because the clear can dry and be shiny, so I like the dark one and I like to buy it in the larger sizes. The Dr. Teal's um, Body Lotion Moisturizing Eucalyptus Spearmint. I love the Eucalyptus Spearmint Body Wash. This lotion, I don't like. It's really thin and I like to mix my lotions with oil and it kind of like balls up. I just that lotion. I like the smell, but I don't like the consistency, so I wouldn't repurchase that. So I got this armband because when I um, couldn't go to the gym anymore, I wanted to be able to go out and run. And I have this app that's like, well, it says that it'll get you from going from like couch potato to running like a 10K and I forgot how long. But so you do it day by day, piece by piece. If you're interested in the app, I will put the little icon somewhere in here. But you need to have your phone on you. It's like my watch, my, it's not a watch shortcut. Like normally I could just go and listen to the music on my watch, but that wasn't working. So I got this to make sure it was large enough to fit my phone and it does feel awkward. It's not like the easiest thing to have on my arm because I'm not used to running with anything like that, but it serves its purpose. I have an Instapot um, and I got these little silicone molds for egg. It's kind of like the egg white bites or the egg bites that you can get at um, Starbucks. I'm sure a million other places have them too, but that's just what reminds me of them. And so I make those in those hot pots and I love that thing and it's really easy to clean out. One of the things that Keegan constantly does is he leaves a wet sponge in the sink, which drives me crazy because it gets mold on it and I just, my parents were like crazy strict about the way we loaded the dishwasher and just everything in general about the sink. So I'm really weird about it. I can't help it, it's been passed on to me. Oh, I got this basket that suction cups on there just to be like, hey, look, we could put it here now. And so there's no reason to have it sitting in the sink. I bought these glass prep. Um, they're kind of like uh, bento boxes, I think is how you say it. Now they came with five. Now I typically meal prep Monday through Fridays. And so I had five. And then when I got them and I really liked them, I bought another pack of five. So I would have them because I meal prep luncheons lunches and dinners Monday through Friday and it was perfect because I had a big compartment for my main dish and then two parts for like veggie sides. I can stick them in the microwave or the oven and it's safe. If it's going in the oven I just take that lid off that has a little liner in there just because I don't want it to melt. But um, I love them. They're super convenient so I can meal prep, put all the stuff in, stack them in the fridge and then just take them out and heat them up. Um, that's for me the easiest way that I eat healthy because if I need something fast I typically go for the path of least resistance, which is normally not either filling or not something really good for me. Like I'll eat chips, <laughs> so that's not good. Next I got these extension cords. So you know how some extension cords, like white ones, they're not super long, cat's back. They're not super long, they're not super long, but the cord on there, um, like the head of it, I like the three prong, like the grounded ones. Now the three prong, sometimes it's already at an angle, sometimes it's weird. I like the ones that I can rotate it on like 360 to get it whatever angle I need. So I got a couple of those. I also got this tower that um, you can plug a bunch of stuff in. So I like that in the bathroom because some of these bathrooms, I'm just like, why is there only one plug? If you have like a bunch of stuff you wanna plug in like a hairdryer or even a curling iron or you're listening to, you know, um, Again, I have an echo in the bathroom, or I did, not right now, we're not Keegan's, but I want to listen to music and stuff, so everything needs somewhere to plug in, my electrical toothbrush, um, all that stuff, or electric toothbrush, so I got that, and I really like that, and there's a, a master power stop at the top that you can touch on and off. After I got all my dental work done, um, I take my dental care very seriously, I got um, a Philips Sonic Care toothbrush, um, and I adore that thing. And I buy all the replacement heads on Amazon, so I'll show you those. I'm obsessed with this spray. This is a Gold Bond. It's the Fresh Scent. They make a few others. Um, it's just, this it says a no mess body powder spray. So when I get out of the shower and after I like, I put my lotions and oils and things on, this may sound gross, but I don't care. I literally like lift up my boob, spray under my boobs, like um, the cracks of my, the like the back of my knees and stuff if it's really warm. Um, This just keeps me from sweating and same thing like even in between my boobs because if I'm out and it's hot, it's like, 
it gets hot. <laughs> so I love this stuff. Um, and then I'll even just give a little spritz on my foot, but um, it also has this nozzle that you spray it off so it doesn't come out and it will spray upside down all different angles. So the stuff is awesome and it smells, it smells really good. Well, if you spray it really close and like for a while, it will give you a little bit of a white powdery cast. You just dust that off, but um, I don't I don't really do it that much. Got this Aveeno Stress Relief Moist uh, Lotion. I love the smell of lavender. I thought I was really gonna like this lotion, and I don't like the smell. It, um, the lotion feels really nice, but the smell kind of reminds me of like um, a baby. Not in a bad way, I'm not saying I like hate babies, but it's not like, um, it's not a scent that I really enjoy. So after I am done with that, I don't think I'll be repurchasing it. Next, these shorts, these shorts are really short. They look like almost kind of like underwear. They're, they don't cover a whole lot, but I wear those for when I'm like going to like the beach or if I'm doing something like helping friends with yard work or something like that, or just again, doing some kind of like house chores around. Um, they are very short, but I like them. Got this, That's it's called like, uh, cage bra and they're they have a bunch of different styles but i like this because then i can put a black tank top over it and it kind of looks like i feel like a dominatrix in it but i really like it after i got my tooth work done i did have sensitivity on one of my back teeth now a lot of that is because there was a filling that was replaced there filled in with porcelain and what ended up happening is it was kind of like it was such a deep cavity that i had had at the time that it was kind of like pressing up on on my nerve and so we were seeing okay let's give it a little bit of time because I didn't want to have to have root canal if I didn't need to and my dentist just recommended using Sensodyne so I did and it actually fixed it I could suck in air and not, nothing bothers me anymore so um, I just use that toothpaste all the time during quarantine I was just like um, I need to find projects and stuff so I started like this intense like body care routine um well more intense than I was doing prior because I realized I was like I'm spending all this time on my face and stuff and after I started doing IPLs and stuff and I'll I will talk about those in another video another time I was realizing I'm like I want my skin to glisten and be kind of radiant like my skin normally is not always um so I got this exfoliating brush to treat ingrown hairs now if you watched I had laser hair removal on the bottom part of my legs I wanted to try dry brushing on like the tops of my thighs and like other areas that I shave so I got that and I do like that I haven't noticed it to make a difference because I guess I wasn't really getting like a lot of ingrown hairs like occasionally I would get one on my leg but um I still kind of use that and it just exfoliates but Next, one of the things I was thinking of is that, you know, when I'm in the shower and I'm rinsing everything off, I don't really do a good job of making sure, like I use a loofah as far as my hand can go back, but I wanted to make sure that I was like kind of, I wanted to redo the skin on my back. Cause I was noticing that that was like kind of freckly and looking older compared to the rest of the skin because that doesn't get as much attention from me. First I tried this shower brush, um, which I like and I have it hanging in the shower, but I was like, mm, it wasn't kind of the exfoliation I wanted. One side of the brush was a little more stiff than the other and it almost felt like it was kind of like tearing my skin. So that's still hanging there and I'll use the soft side sometimes, but the harder side I don't really care for. I stocked up on this Amazon, this clarifying pink um, grapefruit body wash with 2% salicylic acid that I was using on my back because I wasn't getting like I would get one or two maybe blemishes sometimes on my shoulder but I just wanted it all gone and where I can get blemishes are if I'm working out and I don't immediately come home to take the clothes off and shower I can get blemishes because anywhere you're holding bacteria in against your chest even your butt anything like that the body wash I really like it and it's affordable and now I, I bought just one to try it first and now I buy it I think in four or a six pack next thing I got was this lotion applicator for your back this thing is weird I would not recommend it it's basically feels like a like a nerf like a nerf wand that you beat each other with or something as kids you put it on and it kind of like slides off and I was trying to get it on my back but it's kind of hard to rub in um so I have another solution for that but that just didn't really work for me but since I wanted my skin to kind of be like shiny is I was just thinking like hmm let me try shaving my arms now if anybody has questions about body hair removal I have a whole video about shaving and why your hair on your arms will not come back thicker it will not come back darker if you have any questions watch that before you say it so I haven't shaved my arms like I had very light hair anyway but the problem is is that when you have hair on a surface it's not completely smooth and the light won't bounce back and reflect so I was just like hmm, let me see so I've been shaving my arms for I don't know like seven months and I've probably done it like once a month maybe I never really had heavy hair on my arms anyway but um, the first thing I wanted to try was a hair removal cream. Now, I'm terrified of hair removal creams because as I've told you, I was a hairy little child um, and I can still be a hairy little adult. I tried one time because I used to have like a full, like, 
little mustache. I don't know what those are called when it's not like, wouldn't connect, but it would be like right here. I don't know if there's a name for that. But I tried it there and even on my chin and I got terrible rashes. Now this was probably like in the 90s or something. So it wasn't as, like technology wasn't quite the same. I think it was like Nair and I know it's changed now. But I got this Neoman and I think they call it something different now, but I loved this stuff. I used it on my arms for 10 minutes. I would just swipe it on, make sure it's completely covered. It came with a spatula at first I was trying to paint it on. I was like, this took forever. So I just put it on my hand, put it on my hands, rubbed it on my arms, and then I kind of had to stand naked for like 10 minutes. Then I rinse it off, just um, wipe down motions like that with a washcloth, and that stuff smells. It smells like rotten eggs. It's gross. But it worked, and my arms would stay very smooth. I mean, they still stay smooth with the shaving, but... Um, they were just like really smooth and again it's not body shaming i hope no one knows if you want to be hairy cool if you want to not be hairy cool if whatever whatever you want i never understand because people are watching a makeup channel i'm like why is putting makeup on your face okay yet if i talk about shaving that's shaming i never understand that but whatever again these were giving me projects to stay occupied the only thing i don't like about this is i probably only got because the tube isn't that big you're not going to get very many uses out of it like for both arms i probably got three applications for both arms and it's gone so if you were doing your whole legs or something i can't imagine i don't think it would last very long um but that stuff is nice next they changed the packaging of it but this is the original one i got so this is the acne eliminating body lotion now as i mentioned i noticed i was getting like a couple little blemishes back here it could have been from like my leave-in sprays that i was spraying in or the, uh, if I use um, spray tan or something like that. But same thing, when I was working out, I was noticing that sometimes I was getting blemishes, like just between my cleavage sometimes or something. So I got this stuff. This is expensive. The packaging has changed, I'll show you a picture. This is, what, $27.95. Um, they had a, a couple different scents. This one is the green tea and honey. I don't care for this scent as much as I think it's a cucumber lime um, that I'll show you, now you can pick. Uh, this was eight fluid ounces now this one has if you have sensitive skin avoid like the plague like every this has every essential oil pretty much known to man it feels like um it does have witch hazel peppermint water spearmint water um coconut oil jojoba oil salicylic acid tea tree essential oil lemon essential oil camphor oil eucalyptus oil olive oil peppermint oil menthol uh tamanu oil i think is how you uh, evening primrose oil this stuff feels like um, Bengay, but it's really, I rub it literally right here. I, I have not had a blemish on my, in my cleavage, on my butt, um, on my shoulders at all since kind of doing this routine. Um, and it also could be that I'm not working out at a gym the same because now when I go run, I come home and I shower. Before when I would drive a half hour to the gym, when I was done, sometimes I had a few errands to run and things. And when you're wearing tight clothes that kind of like keep that bacteria in, it, it's just not good. So now I know like shower immediately. But this stuff I really like and it does, it feels like if you rub this on your neck, it gives this like cool tingling. I'm kind of bummed that Keegan found out about it because this thing went really quickly and I do have the other scent too, but um, I love that stuff. I got the Nivea the Men Body Shaving After Lotion. Now, I love that. I love, you guys know, I wear men's deodorant. I like the, um, I like the Old Spice, the Swagger. <laughs> Bagger. Um, I love that smell, but I was gonna see like for the aftershave. I was wondering, oh well, it's saying for men aftershave. I'm like, let me put some on my arms, and it was really hot moisturizing because remember everyone was using that primer on their face, and I was kind of comparing the ingredients and seeing, and um, it does soften skin, and I really like that. So I kind of had like nine million steps I was trying, but that's one of them, and I do like that. I got it in a two pack. Eyebrow razors, I love these things. If you watch my um, How I Shave My Face, I use them there. Um, and I use them even to clean up my eyebrows if I don't have time to like really pluck them. But I still get a little peach fuzz on my face and I would say I go through, it also like dermal planes like or exfoliates the top layer of your skin. So um, I do that as I see fit. I don't really see a lot ever coming back, so. So I think I'm gonna stop it here guys because I'm already over 20 minutes long, um, which I wasn't, I wasn't thinking I was going to divide this up into more than one video, so I don't have a separate intro and outro. Um, I still have a bunch of stuff left to show, like some shower accessories, more body care, um, some micro microfiber uh, hair towels and things, um, jewelry trees, and just a bunch of different stuff, jewelry cleaning supplies and things like that that I want to show you. So I'm going to end this one here, and then I'm going to pick back up and finishing editing part two. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and I will see you for part two. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks.